Hello and good evening, delegates. Welcome to Telemundo, the most objective, reliable, fact-checked, non-partisan, and impartial source of information in the world. We hope you're safe from wherever you're watching this broadcast. I'm your host, Mario Hilario, and welcome to the news. Groundbreaking allegation from Moscow as a viral interview that confirms Russia's involvement in the German energy scandal. That was not the only bombshell coming out of the interview. We also learned that. Meanwhile, a viral campaign that Free Rally has sparked across social media and journalistic circles. This comes against a backdrop of a huge spike in violence and intimidation against journalists. China mobilized over 150,000 soldiers to move into the Aksai Chin region, historically a hotspot for Sino Indian tension. India sent 165,000 troops to the same region in response. Tensions are higher than ever, especially due to the movement of refugees on another part of the border in Assam. Both India and China addressed the Asia Cooperation Dialogue to defend their position in their recent conflict, turning a welcoming speech into a fiery back and forth between the Chinese and Indian representatives. But as these diplomatic exchanges continue to occur, the Indian refugee crisis continues to tear families apart and force them from their homes. India also held talks with Germany on creating a midterm solution that could stem the tide of refugees and provide homes to the internally displaced. Those talks have been slow and painstaking, especially as Merkel suffers problems of her own. In Germany, a vote of no confidence has upended the traditional political arena. Merkel, or Muti as her proponents call her, is in real danger of ending her 23-year-old chancellorship early. The FD party, a far-right opposition party, has seized on the crisis and public sentiment to call off a vote of no confidence in the current ruling coalition. Political insiders expect the vote to be a nail-biter, and we will soon know whether Germany is heading for the political realignment of the century. Brazilian President Bolsonaro has capped off a firestorm week of hyper-visible arguments with international media, local journalists, NGOs, and his own cabinet members. Some say that the fights with the media are a tactic to distract attention from the other big news happening in Brazil. Bolsonaro and his administration are making moves against the vocal Guajajara indigenous population. Reports of mass military and covert activity to try and suppress the vocally anti-Bolsonaro community are underway. This military action seems to be a direct response to actions by a group of armed Guajajaras who took over a hydroelectric plant in northern Brazil. The group of Guajajaras took over the hydroelectric plant to draw attention to their plight. That is all we have for this evening. It's me, Mario. Thank you and see you next year. Diamond Gives Back is a unique opportunity to help two organizations that improve every day the lives of children in Mexico. Go fund, save the children, and Fundación Eugenia now.